The role of a combat designer on God of War 3 is a complex role. basically has anything to do with characters in the game. Any character you see moving in the game, attacking, fighting, are generally implemented by the combat designer. And then, of course, Kratos. What his platforming elements are going to be, what his new combat moves are going to be, what weapons he's going to use, how he's, how he's going to use them, how he walks, everything. I'm here with uh, Jason McDonald, who's a senior combat designer in God of War 3. And uh, we're just talking about the new features that we have in the game and what we're trying to add to the God of War franchise. Well, we've got some of Kratos' items in. Um, he can grab a head and he can light stuff up. Now that we can play with lighting in God of War 3, we can make the entire room dark, have the enemies that are attacking you in the dark, can't be seen. And when you light them up with the head, they light up for a, a limited amount of time, so you can attack them while you can see them, but then they are constantly disappearing. You get to parts where it's completely pitch dark and you hear the guys scream in the background. You use the Helios head to you know, find out where they are. The strategy gameplay, the combat side of it, turns into you have to keep these guys lit to be able to hit them, otherwise you get screwed and they just destroy you in the dark. So. De definitely something we couldn't do before, just because we didn't have dynamic lighting to the extent that we have it now. So. We got the, the combat grapple in. We tried the grapple stuff in God of War 2, but um, since we were limited on memory and animations and things like that, we just couldn't uh, couldn't do it. And couldn't uh, If we couldn't do it well, then we weren't going to do it at all, so we just didn't do it. But now, now we have more space, more memory. Kratos is a very strong character, so when he grapples an enemy, he kind of just charges right in and plows through everybody. So the grapple system is exactly like that. You can launch somebody in the air, and you grapple them, and you plow yourself right into the air, right into them. If there's a crowd of enemies, you'll plow yourself through all of them. Hey, I'm at Brian Yu's desk here. He's a senior combat designer on God of War 3. For this particular boss, which is a huge scorpion, you want to make sure the presence is there, and the player will feel the power of the attack. Usually, for attacks for boss character, you want them to be really recognizable, so the player know it's coming, because if the player cannot recognize the move and, you know, react in time, they get hit, you know, because it's boss character, you will take a lot of damage, so it's, it's not fun, you, you know, if you don't see the attack coming, you're being hit, so that's something that we try to work really hard on. So. I'm here with Jason DeHarris, a uh, combat designer on God of War 3, and uh, we're just looking over some of the writable stuff that's early in development. So how do you think it's going? It's all right in terms of Kratos. He still wants to kill this, this beast that's in his way to his ultimate goal, so he doesn't. it's not really his, his friend, so he's not really talented to attack. He's just trying to kill it, and then the, the indirectness of that is the Cyclops reacting to, to his pain, pretty much. But then there's a the challenge of making it feel responsive as well. So I guess it's kind of disguising that responsiveness with uh, the pain reaction. So even the pain reaction is, is really a hit, actually. Since you can see, we got a bunch of grunts on screen right now. And um, when you're fighting all these grunts, like taking on, you know, doing a special move or, or you know, grabbing each one and killing them, that can be kind of slow. This will be an awesome tool for, like, you see the Cyclops in there, and you're just like, I want to get after the Cyclops so I can, I can jump on his back and do tons of damage and kill these guys quicker. But just like any other feature, you know, we have to prove that it's going to be fun and good. And, um, if it's not, you got to get rid of it because everything has to be fun.